Got it. <laughs> that was great, right? Oh, amazing every time. Got it. So I have Alex and Ariel here today. They're both uh, clients of mine. They've been in, how many times do you think you've been in? You've been in a few more times. I've been in here twice now. Twice. Twice. Yes. Okay. And how about you? Two more. This okay. will be the third. All right. And um, you've already got some results on your shoulders, right? Definitely. Well, definitely. What have you seen different? Everything feels extremely lighter. I feel like I can sit up tall now, mm -hmm. breathe better because a lot of pressure used to be on my chest. And since I do security work, I get a lot of pressure on my lower back. Mm -hmm. And what you did the last time, a jumping move, <laughs> fixed me so much. All right. Now, what happened with your shoulders before? They just didn't have the range of motion without pain? Yes, and before, I had to, like, basically squinge up just to put my shoulder up, but now I can just loosely, and I don't feel, feel or hear the cracking <laughs> anymore. And before, I could not put my shoulders or behind my head like this. So now you got full range of motion. The thing that he was talking about, there's actually a kind of a medical or physical therapy word for it called recruitment. So... If I'm trying to do a pure shoulder, you know, or just bring my arm up and it floats up beautifully, that's great. But if I have to like lift something to do it, so you're coming up and then you lift your uh, levator scapula or you're cheating to get that arm up in the air, you're recruiting other muscles that weren't necessary for that type of range of motion. And you do that because you're in pain or you do that because you have some type of, type of limitation from a previous injury. Um, we're going to just do one at a time. We're going to probably separate this into two videos. So if you want to see both of them go, um, Alex and Ariel, and we'll do one. Or, who's, who wants to go first? Maybe you? Yeah. Okay, so Alex will go first. And in the description box, I'll put both links and both of their videos so you can go back and forth between them if you'd like. All right, I'm going to have you have a seat here so you can watch the whole time. You and you're going to start face down if you may. Thank you. I'm going to... Um, Actually, let's do this first. I'm going to have you float one leg in the air at a time. So you're going to put both arms down and take this leg and keep it nice and long and bring it all the way up and then all the way down. And then do the other side. And do they feel even or does one feel tight today? The left one feels a little bit tighter. Okay. Let's just see if they're even. So sometimes they're tight but the same height and sometimes they're tight and really different. So uh, bring the right one up first. And we'll just hold a spot there. Okay, good. And put that one down. Here, do it one more time. Okay, and then put it down. Now put the left one up. Well, that one even came up higher. So which one did you say is tighter? The left. Okay. So it's not because of range of motion. So the left had a nice range of motion. Put your thumb into a spot that feels tight. So as you lift your leg, dig your own left thumb in and go, it's tight here, and you push in. Okay, right so, here. So he, you're, you're pushing right into those lower lumbars. And here, drop your leg now, and I'm gonna see what he's doing over here. So he pointed to L4, and pretty much in the center, and I'm gonna dig that out a little bit. But one of the things I can also do is a little traction with the table. Um, so I'm gonna extend the table, strap his ankles down so we can create a stretch. And let's get that table rolling now. And I'm gonna come to the spinous of L4 and start to lift it up. And as the table pulls away, we're hopefully gonna get a little bit of a traction or distraction, traction it out. And can you feel me lifting from here? So I'm pushing everything from L4 up, and then L5 sacrum is pulling down away. I'm pushing uh, from posterior to anterior and also from inferior to superior. So I'm getting a superior headward line of drive, and I'm also pushing down through the belly, belly and up. And I'm really pushing hard. You can feel the stretch, right? Yes. Here, turn your head this way so we can hear you talk. I even feel the stretch through my stomach. Yeah. It's intense, right? 
-hmm. But I'm trying to give a decompression in there, a separation. There you go. Oh, good. I'm going to do a little bit of a skin pull on this, okay? So come in super close now. Maybe even shoot straight towards me this way. I'm not getting, are we hearing pops? Or is it just stretching your skin? About one pop. One pop, okay. one. Yeah. All right. So sometimes it pops, sometimes it doesn't. He has good elasticity to his skin, but I didn't hear like crack, crack, crack. Sometimes you do. I have a playlist with just skin pulling, so if you ever want to see some of that, check that out. Now I'm going to come up the back and start working some of these muscles. That feels good though, doesn't it? In a strong way. Amazing. All right, turn your head again this way. Amazing. Even if you just need massages, I advise to come here instead of a massage. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. If you have deep muscles, this is the place to be. Whoa. So, you have a little bit of a martial arts background, right? Yes. Which Been, martial, martial arts did you originally work with? Or I started at the same time I was doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Brazilian Kickboxing. From when I was three all the way to when I was 16. Three years old? Yeah. Who took you? Your dad? Yeah, my dad actually is in the Navy. Mm -hmm. So he originally started out in the Marines and they had a program going on with his GI Bill that they would allow for me to just take martial arts as long as I actually took it seriously and just paid for it. Oh, meaning the, the child of the service person yes. could also get lessons as part of his benefits. Exactly. If you were serious with it. Mm -hmm. So you started at a young age and you're stuck with it through your teen years. And I loved it all throughout. Mm -hmm. It honestly taught me a lot and helps me with my security work till today. If I'm allowed to say the club. Um, I actually work not too far from here. Mm -hmm. I work at Taj Lounge. Okay. An amazing spot to be, and you both know, you're always allowed to come in. Okay, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Thought. So that background, though, it really helps, um, it, or it can come in handy with your job, as in other words, if you need, if you need to. Security work is not only just taxing, but at the same time, even though I am built. Most security guards are on the larger side, mm -hmm. like in their 200 mid ranges or 300. So, me only being a solid 150 is like most guys think that they can take advantage until they know you know martial arts, right? <laughs> All right. So let's try lifting the legs again, okay? Head straight down. Now we're not gonna check range of motion or I'm not gonna measure it because you already had good range of motion on both sides. But I just wanna see if you feel a little looser on the left side. So do the right side first. And... Just from the massage, I felt the difference already. Good, good. And now do the left side, because that was a little stuck. I literally don't feel that pain here anymore. Okay, perfect. So let's I do a little like I can push a little bit further too. Yeah, you have a great range of motion on that side for sure. So lie on your side facing me. So what we did basically is we just freed it up a little bit. It was just tight. I mean, you know, we all get stressed. We also not only do physical things, but we sit too much in today's world. And I think the sitting compresses us unfairly. You know, where our bodies don't love sitting so much, but we need to for computer time, we need to travel. And we're in chairs sometimes a lot, or in the seated position. So may I lift this just an inch or two? No problem. Thank you. 
So I'm gonna come in right in where we just were working and now I'm gonna really see if I can get a release as well. Big breath in and blow it out. And one more breath, breath in and let it. Got it. That is always my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, right? Oh, amazing every time. <sighs> <laughs> Good. I think you needed that one. Turn this way. Keep turning. Was your dad a good jujitsu player? I was always better than him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if he watches this video, we'll see if he leaves a comment. So I'm going to come in and do the same thing on this side. Big breath in and blow it out. Got it. That was loud. That was loud. <laughs> Lie on your back. But that's a nice gift that your dad could give you, which is, um, you know, set you up on that as a kid and let you really explore that, right? Honestly, I, even though I didn't take the route, most of my family is military. Mm -hmm. And I would actually really advise going to the military, especially if you have children, because my dad, even on one of his bills, he's allowed to send me to college. And the college actually pays you right. instead of you having to pay the college. Wow, so that's so, great. So there's a lot of great benefits, right? A lot of great benefits to it. Let's do the Y strap next. What do you think? Yes. Okay, so let's do that next. Every time, for the second time was a different spot from the last time, so I can't wait to see what this one does. And, and this is a good comment here. Let me sit down so we're, we're at the same spot here for the uh, to fit into the camera here. Um, a lot of times you'll hear people say, "I only felt that in the neck when I do the Y strap," or they feel it. They felt it all the way down to the sacrum, lower back. I find that. The Y strap, for the most part, really digs out the most compressed spot first. So you've now done two or three of these, right? Yes. And one time you felt it in one section, another time you, it moved to a different section, right? The Explain that time, again. The Just, first time I have went through it, it was mid back that I felt it in, and that was where a lot of my stress was. But yet the second time I actually felt it right in my upper neck, right around the bone here. So, At the base, the yeah. base here, down here? Directly right there, yeah. yes. So that's good, and so we'll see what today gives us. And I guess I'm just commenting that you'll feel in different sections uh, for some people. Some people, they just feel like a whole accordion opening up, but other people feel like a section that's been frozen for years just finally releases. And that's why it's sometimes beneficial to do more than one, because we're gonna see what, what shows up today. I was on the iffy half of it today, but then I was like, nah, let me, let me get it in just to we'll see, what, see what it gets this time. All right, sweep your hair through. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. And then let's um, keep, keep going here. We're going to bend this down. We're going to lower the table to a lower height. Let me place this here. So drop your head. So we're gonna do one now. We're gonna have you take a big breath in and blow it out. Big breath in and blow it out. Oop, hold on, she, he was sliding a little bit. So here, look down at the ankles, you'll see. I wanna make sure they're, they're secure. Let's do one more now. Big breath in and blow it out. Here, come up here and be with us up here now. Where'd you feel that one this time? This one was actually extended from the second one that I told you all the way down to where it originally was. So it started, if I can show on you. Yeah. 
It started from here and yeah. went all the way to right here. Good, so you got a, a good deep release. So I felt about three cracks in separate places. Mm -hmm. so That's really I good. I think this is the best one yet. Oh, awesome. Now, do you still feel there's still a spot there? Do you feel that one? Mm-hmm. So I want to get this one next. This is C2. I'm going to come in and release it. Got it. That's why I was so happy that you <laughs> wrote me because I was like, if he can do that one more time for me, this is my, other than the lower back that you do, mm -hmm. this one right here, those are my two favorites. I would pay just to do those two. Oh, right. <laughs> no <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's another one right there. This is C3 on the left. Got it. And I just want to add for like the past two years from before I came here, I was not allowed. Like I could not crack my neck at all. And now you've loosened my neck to the point that I can actually just crack it myself. Good. So it's self-releasing now. Yes, because you felt from the first yeah. time how tight it actually was. Yeah, I mean, it was I frozen could... solid the first time. Like, it was stuck like a rusty hinge. So now that we're moving it, you're able to get more of your own motion out of it. Yes. So scoot down this way. I'm glad. That's really good. Especially an athletic person like you, you want to be able to release it. You want to be able to, you know, open up these stiff joints sometimes. I'm going to lean over you, okay? Mm -hmm. There's one there, and there's another. That was like three. Right, so that middle one was about three, right? So let me just see if your ankle needs to be pulled a little bit. You already went? Ankle popped immediately. That's fine. Let me see your wrists. These are fine. Come stand up. Stand over here. Let's see how you feel. Whew. Your lightheaded feeling, the high feeling every time. Whew. A little looser? Definitely. And every time I can touch the floor again. This amazes me every time and I get a little bit lower. What was your favorite thing today? <sighs> the neck crack. Okay. The sideways neck. Honestly, that opened up my midsection, which is my tightest area every time due to the fact that I do do um, security work. Mm -hmm. So I'm just standing straight like this all day or while I'm moving around and have to pick people up because I do have to wear a body vest. It's like three pounds of weight. So mm -hmm. it really weighs me down all day. So if I can get any relief in that area, it's always amazing. And for my first three times ever doing this, I feel like a brand new man every time. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Oh my God. Got it. Oh. That is always my favorite part. <laughs> that was great, right? Oh man, every time.